hello guys and welcome back so what we are doing right now is actually just sending an alert of new notification when a user receives a notification and we are console that login the notification but in a real world application would actually like to maybe play a sound or something like that or uh, actually notify the user using a good notification rather than the alerts so that's what we're gonna do in this video so behind the scenes I've actually included an audio okay so this audio is in my public audio directory so you can head over to github and have that audio and what we're gonna do is actually play that audio as soon as the user receives a notification and uh, when we play that audio we're also gonna display a notification using noti okay so let's go ahead and see that how that would work okay so rather than alerting we're gonna use noti to alert so we'll call a noti function and we'll pass in all the necessary data as usual so I'll just go to my app.blade.php and uh, copy the sample for notifications using noti and uh, right here I'll just paste that in so type of success layout bottom left and right here the text would be from our notification that we received so let me go ahead to friend request received or accepted for example so right here what we are broadcasting to the array is a message and the name of the person so we are receiving a name from the notification so we'll see notification dot name concatenate this to notification dot message because in the notification object that we're broadcasting to the user we have the name and the message so we'll just say the name plus the message so this is going to say something like this user maybe cut to friends accepted your friend request okay so as soon as we display the notification with noti what we'd like to do is actually play the audio so we'll find the audio using javascript document dot get element by id and the name of that id would just be noti audio and we'll just play it okay so first we receive the notification second we we, we display a notification with noti and then we play the audio so before we actually play that audio we need to position this element with id noti audio in our app.blade.php file so right in our app.blade.php what we're gonna do right here is actually include the audio the audio tags okay so we're gonna have audio and since we're gonna have multiple sources we'll just put that in line so we'll have source we'll reference our assets in our public audio directory so we'll say asset and this will be in the audio directory and would be notify.mp3 and the things right here in my directory my public audio directory i have three just for browse browser compatibility i'll go ahead and, pl and, and include the sources for all those three so right here notify.mp3 and this will be notify.ogg and the next would be notify.wav just for browser compatibility okay so okay so we have our audio set and what we need to do is give it an id of the id that we set in our notification so right here we have the id of noti audio so each time we receive a new notification into our application we are just gonna get this element which is the audio that we just included right here and we'll play it and that should be double quotes around the id so before we try it out i'll go ahead and start a q worker php action q work so right now it's listening to notifications or jobs and as soon as we send a friend request we're gonna receive a quick response to our user who is using the application but in the background it's gonna process those jobs so right here from my profile, I'll go ahead and add Emily as a friend. And we receive the notification, this friend request has been sent. And right there, the audio is played and it says, Katy friends send you a friend request. And it shows that twice. And I think it's my fault. Okay, but at least it works. The audio played. I don't know if my mic picked that up, but the audio played. And uh, right here we have Katy friends sent you a friend request okay so that's working and uh i think it's displaying twice because of something i did so let's go ahead to friend request sent and see what is going on so friend request sent not accepted friend request sent new friend request i think it was okay so right down here okay nice so we are concatenating the name already so we don't have to 
actually concatenate the name again right here. So what we're gonna do just to keep the same pattern, we'll just say send you a friend request right here and we want to concatenate the name. So anytime we send a friend request, you will just send a message and a name, then we can do that in our notification that view. Okay, so you can also see that our queue worker actually processed that in the background, which increased our user experience. Okay, so that works perfectly. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.